Hey everyone, it's Derek J. Today is Monday, December 16th, 2013, and I'm about to call the Laconia Police Department to find out the charges for Amanda Billy Rock. She was arrested over the weekend, um, and I'm not clear on what the charges are. Seemed to be related to alcohol, it was driving related, I'm not sure. Please, how may I help you? Hi there, I'm recording this call for my records. I'm looking to uh, reach the records department, please. Hold on a moment. It's very important to remember to tell the uh, people that you're recording. This is records, may I help you? Hi, I'm recording this call for my records. May I ask with whom I'm speaking? This is Cheryl. May I help you? Hi, Cheryl. Thanks so much for taking my call today. I'm looking to learn the um, charges for an individual who was arrested by the Laconia Police Department over the weekend. Um, I would need to put you up to legal, sir. Just a moment, please. Okie dokie. It's funny because when I called earlier, they said that I needed to speak with um, the records department and that the records department was away at lunch. Now that I've waited and I've called back, she says, no, this isn't the right department. You have to speak with legal. It's interesting. Great music too, huh? It's not the kind of service that you get with a private company. I wonder what, why Cheryl transferred me. Prosecutor's office. Hi there. I'm recording this call for my records. May I ask with whom I'm speaking? My name is Colleen. Hi, Colleen. Thanks for taking my call today. I am looking to learn the charges of an individual who was arrested by your Laconia Police Department this weekend. Um, her name is Amanda Billy Rock Johnson, and I believe the arrest happened in the late p.m., early a.m. of Friday, Saturday, December 13th and 14th. Oh, okay. Uh, Prosecutor Sawyer is not in at the moment. Can I have a number and I can have him call you? No, you know, I'm sorry, Colleen, but, you know, I called about an hour ago and I was told that I had to reach the records department and that the records department was away at lunch, and so I had to wait until 2. So I've done that and I've called, and now the records department tells me that I need to speak with legal. And now you're telling me that someone's not there. So how many times am I going to get, you know, run around? I I'm asking for a simple piece of public information. Okay. Can you hold on a second? Do you happen, it's Amanda Johnson, you said you have, but happen to have her date of birth? I, I don't have that uh, information available to me. Okay. Let me put you on hold for one second, okay? Thank you, Colleen. You're welcome. So, just some commentary here. I think it's... It's just interesting to me that I get the the runaround, and that sometimes you can push back a little bit and say, you know, why am I? Uh, why is this happening? You know. Um, anyway. And it's always uncomfortable calling the police because some friends of mine, whenever they're doing some sort of information, data collection, uh, calling the police for some information, um, sometimes they've been charged with wiretapping just for recording the phone call, the same as I'm doing here. Now, the important distinction is that I'm saying I'm recording this for my records. Those magic words make the, um, the threats of years in a cage go away magically. There's nothing magic about it. It's actually just men with guns who will use force against you if you don't do what they say. I wonder how long they'll keep me on hold here too and what they're talking about back there. I mean, they did get this call earlier today, so they've already answered this question for Ian.
Yes. I'm sorry. Um, I'm told that the it is in the arrest log, which you are you can get a copy of, and the complaints haven't been filed with the court yet. I don't have them. I don't know what they are. Oh, that's interesting. Um, is that or typical? I take, or I can take a number and have Prosecutor Sawyer call you when he does get back from court. Well, I appreciate that. Um, so I just want to be clear. There have been charges filed, correct? I mean, she was arrested. Nothing has been filed with the court yet. Um... I don't, I, can you help me understand what that means? I, I'm not um, a lawyer, so I'm not really familiar. Well, she has been charged with a crime, correct? Yes. Okay. And what is that crime? I, it, I'm told that it's in the arrest log. I do not have it here. Oh, I see. The arrest log. That's with, uh, who's that with? Um, you can request a copy of that, um, but it would have to have it in writing, though, but it can be done by email. Oh, okay. So who do I email about that? Um, you go on to LaconiaPD.org, and it can be arrested. It'll come through via email in, in that way, and um, somebody will call you when it's ready. Okay, do you have an email address that, I, that I'm supposed to email about that? I mean, this is, it, it seems pretty unusual. I'm, it, I'm speaking with a human. <laughs> Why would I go to a website? You know, we can. Isn't there an easier way? I'm giving you the information that I have. I see. I mean, if you'd like to leave your name and number, I'm. I'm this is. I can certainly have Prosecutor Sawyer give you a call when he gets back from court. He had court this afternoon, and he's not back yet. Right. This is still Colleen, right? Yeah. Okay. Great, Colleen. Well, maybe you could just transfer me to Mr. Sawyer. He's at court. Oh, I see. Well, um, all right, maybe transfer me to his, uh, well, yeah, please transfer me to his, uh, e his uh, voicemail, if you could. His voicemail? Okay, hold on one yeah, minute, please. thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> has been answered by a via IP office. Jim Sawyer. He's not available. To leave a message, wait for the tone. When finished recording, press pound for more options. Record at the tone. Hey Jim, you're currently prosecuting a friend of mine named Amanda for, quote, disobeying an officer, resisting arrest or detention, transporting an alcoholic beverage, possession of a controlled drug, Driving under the influence. These are all uh, pretty serious charges, and uh, Amanda's a peaceful person who hasn't hurt anybody. I don't see any victim alleged, and so I think it's the right thing to do to drop the charges. If you look within yourself and see, was anyone hurt by Amanda's actions? No? Well, then she doesn't belong in a cage. That's all I've got to say, and I hope you consider your actions, and have a nice day. <laughs>